in this video we are going to see how to apply nodal analysis to a circuit which consists of independent sources along with dependent sources so here problem is this we have to get a voltage across 5 ohm resistance by using a nodal analysis technique and in this circuit we are having this dependent voltage source which depend upon this current so i can say it is current controlled voltage source so this i1 is current flowing through 10 ohm which will control this voltage 30 i1 so let's mark all nodes first so as we discuss this entire thing will become a one node with potential i can say uh, v1 and as per our definition in the circuit we'll be having only one node along with one reference over here so this is a zero or you can say a reference potential now it is very simple now we'll be having only one equation and a one unknown so let's simplify this now since we are having only uh, one node present in the circuit so whatever the branches are there in the circuit all the branches are meeting to that node so one two three and this entire thing is a one branch so i can consider four branches are there let's mark all branch currents so this is a current source we will maintain the current direction as it is so it's from reference to v1 let's consider this as a downward direction so from v1 to reference and one thing we will be keeping same and that is whatever the current they have given we will maintain the current direction as it is so since they have given the downward current direction we will also maintain the current direction for our calculation as downward only and for this let's consider the current direction like this so we'll be having only uh, one node and one equation we have to write so let's apply kcl to that particular node so we are applying kcl at node one we are having the four branches meeting at node one out of that one is the incoming and remaining three we have considered as outgoing so incoming current is 2 ampere so 2 equal to all these are the outgoing currents so it is started with a v1 ending on a reference so v1 minus 0 divided by 5 plus this branch current will be starting at a v1 ending on a reference and in the current direction we are having a voltage which is changing its polarity minus 2 plus so in the current direction if it is minus 2 plus that means the voltage rise and voltage rise is always represented represented with positive sign so plus 30 i1 divided by resistance of this branch which is 10 and this is also a outgoing which is starting with a v1 ending on a reference that is zero and in the current direction voltage is changing its polarity from plus to minus so it's a voltage drop so minus 50 divided by total resistance of this branch which is 20 plus 30 repeat 20 plus 10 so here v1 is a node voltage r variable which we have declared initially and i1 is their variable so we need a substitution for i1 so substitution equation we have to write it for i1 i1 is the current which is flowing from the 10 ohm register this 10 ohm and for this 10 ohm we have written an equation this v1 minus 0 plus 30 i1 divided by 10 so once again i will write this i1 as v1 
v1 minus 0 plus 30 i1 divided by 10. Remember, we need to reduce the i1. So, upon simplifying, we will get i1 equal to v1 by 10 plus 30 i1 divided by 10. This will give us v1 by 10 rather minus v1 by 10 equal to 2 times i1. This implies wherever there is a i1 you have to replace with minus v1 by 20. So this is the substitution equation. So let's put this value of i1 over here to further simplify the problem. So what we will get? This equation will become 2 equal to v1 by 5 plus v1 divided by 10 plus we know this 30 by 10 is 3 so 3 and i1 is minus v1 by 20 and over here this will be v1 by 30 and this will be minus 50 divided by 30. So let's club all v1 terms together and all constant on this side. So this will be 2 plus 50 divided by 30 equal to v1 in bracket 1 by 5 plus 1 by 10 minus 3 by 20 plus 1 by 30. So after simplifying this, what we will get? 2 plus 50 by 30 as 3.6667 V1 and after solving this, we will get 0 0.1833. So finally, we will get a node voltage as 20 point 0, 0, 0.038 volt. Now, what we want? We want a voltage across 5 ohm. And if you see carefully, 5 ohm is connected between node 1 and the reference. Hence, I can say whatever the node voltage we got, that is nothing but voltage across 5 ohm. So, V5 ohm is same as V1, nothing but 20.00. .00 3.8 volt is the final answer. So here we have seen how to apply nodal analysis in a circuit with a dependent sources. The basic concepts are absolutely same whether it is an independent or a dependent sources. Whenever a dependent source is there, entire focus is on the substitution equation. One thing you need to be very much precise and that is whatever the potential or whatever the current given by them we have to maintain current direction and voltage polarity same as the given in nodal analysis this is very important thing we will see in subsequent videos how this if we are not checking the current direction or a voltage polarity and not maintaining same as whatever given by them, our answer may be getting wrong. Thank you.